हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रमोद बोकडे फ्रॉम प्रियदर्शनी भगवती कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन लेटेक फ्रेंड्स समटाइम्स इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन डॉक्यूमेंट दैट योर टेक्स्ट शुड बी डिवाइडेड इनटू डिफरेंट कॉलम्स द कॉलम्स मे बी टू कॉलम और थ्री कॉलम्स सो जनरली इन जर्नल पेपर्स और सम बुक्स और इन सम आर्टिकल्स always it is required that your text should be divided into different columns so let us see how to divide your text or how to print your text in multiple columns so let us quickly jump into the text studio and see how your text can be divided or split it into different columns so for that i will go into the text studio so I have already opened a new source file, so I will quickly create one article. So I will go to the wizard, look, click on Quick Start. A dialog box will appear, and I will click on OK. So it is going to produce one template. Now here in this case, to get your text in multiple columns, you have to include one extra package in the preamble, and that extra package. is nothing but your multi call so i will write down the command backslash use package use package and in curly braces i will write down multi call so this package should be used before splitting your text into multiple columns if you forgot the if you forget this then your text will not be split into multiple columns and if you use the respective command to split your text into multiple columns in that case your editor will give you some error so now here in this case i have first written backslash use package multi call now let us consider some text which you have to split into the multiple columns so for that what i have to do i have to first decide in how much column i have to divide my text suppose i have to divide my text in two columns so for that what i will do here i will write down the command backslash begin and in curly brackets i will write down multi calls here if you see here if i am simply writing backslash begin multi uh, command is popping down and that is slash begin multi calls so i will go on select this one and if you see here it produces multi calls environment and that environment is in between begin multi call and end multi call now here in this case this has given you the two curly braces in first curly braces we have to write down multi calls and in another curly brackets you have to write down the number of columns in which your text is to be divided suppose i want to divide my text into two columns so here i will write down two in case if you want that your text should be divided into three columns in that case you can write down here three so depending on your requirement you have to put this number so in maximum books or journal papers your text is divided into two columns so i am considering the example of two now here in between begin multi call and multi end multi call you have to put your text so suppose i have to write down the text here or simply i will copy some text from my other file so i am going to copy this text from this i am consider some more text so that we can properly see how this text is divided into two columns and taking some text from the other word file and i will go and compile uh, i will go and paste here my text so i have taken some text from the other file right so i have put this text between begin multi call and end multi call now i will go and compile this file and let us see how this text is divided into two columns so here in this case what i have done here i have written first backslash use package in curly braces multi call here in the preamble section and then i have created the multi calls environment 
and in between this begin multi calls and end multi calls i have put my text that you have to split into the two columns or multiple column and here i have considered only the two columns in second curly braces i have put two so here this text will get splitted into two columns so the process is compiling so wait for some time and if you see here your output document will consist of the text which is splitted into two columns so the process has excited normally and if you see here this text is splitted into two columns the text is splitted into two columns now what if you see here if you see here the spacing between the two columns it is very very small it is very small so it is difficult to identify that your text is divided into two columns so sometimes i need to increase the spacing between the two columns so for that what i have to do here i, I will go back and below this use package multi call i will use the command backslash set length i will repeat backslash set length in first curly bracket i will use column set that is column separation so for column separation i will use the command backslash column set and in another curly braces you have to write down the number or you have to write down the unit by which you have to separate the column suppose i want to separate the column by 1 cm so i will use the 1 cm in next curly braces remember that you need not to put any space between 1 and cm it should be in continuation so what i have done for the column separation i have used extra command backslash set length in first curly braces i have to use backslash column set that is for column separation and in another curly braces i have used 1 cm so let us go back and again compile this file and let us observe the output so definitely there will be some spacing between the two columns so the process has excited and just wait for some time to observe the output now here in this case you can even put some rule in between these two so after this we will see how we can put a vertical line so the process has excited normally and if you see here now if you see here in between these two columns the separation has increased and this separation is equals to 1 cm so depending on your requirement how much separation you want in between the two columns you have to write down the number along with the unit if you see here it has produced the even spacing between these two columns now the next is if you can observe from the output you can observe from the output the both these columns are equally divided they are equally divided or they are called as the balanced columns they are called as the balanced columns but if we want the unbalanced columns that means unbalanced column means what when one column will fill completely then and only then the second column will start so here if you see here on next page both the columns are balanced columns but until and unless there is some requirement that until and unless this column is not filled you should not go into the another column such a type of column it is called as the unbalanced column so in that case what you have to do here you have to simply put a star mark here in backslash begin multi calls you have to use the starred version of this environment so as we have put the starred version in the begin we have to use the starred version in the end command also so i have put the asterisk at both begin and end multi calls now let us go back and again compile this you will see the difference now in this case you will get the unbalanced columns so the process has excited and after some time after few seconds you will see the pdf document in which it will give the text divided into two columns but that columns they will be unbalanced so the process excited normally so if you see here in first page the pa first page is completely filled and when it has started on the second page so until and unless it has not filled the first column it has not gone into the second column 
in the previous case this text was evenly divided into two columns so in this way you can produce the unbalanced columns also by using the starred version of that multi calls environment now in some cases it is required that a vertical line should be put in between these two columns to have a separation between these two columns to identify that two columns are properly separated we can put a vertical line or you can say the vertical rule in between these two columns so for this case what you have to do here again i will go into the preamble and then i will again use now here uh, set i will use the set length set length in first curly braces along with the set length you have to put the two curly braces so in the first curly braces you have to use the command backslash column set that is column separation rule column sep rule that is column separation ruler in between the two columns and in another curly braces you have to use by what point what should be the width of that ruler or what should be the width of that vertical line that you are going to put between the two columns so here you can put 1.2 point 3 point 4 point the one point will be very thin if you put the two point that will give you the thick line vertical line between the two columns so simply i am going to put one point you can also put 2 point 3 point 4 point depending on your requirement so what command i have used here i have used backslash set length in first curly braces i have used backslash column set rule and in another curly braces i have used the thickness for that rule or the vertical line i have simply used the one point i will go back and compile this file again so it has produced the error so here in this case what type of error it has produced paragraph ended was incomplete so let me check here okay. we have made a error here we have not closed this multi call yes by mistake i have deleted this one so i have used this one now i am going to compile it once again so it is compiling and now definitely your output will be produced and in that you will get the two columns which are separated by a vertical ruler sometimes by mistake we delete some commands or we delete some brackets and because of that some error may occur so in what line the error has occurred that is indicated in this box which is below the source code and you can go there and check so if you can see here now it has produced the two columns and these two columns they are separated by a vertical ruler so if you want to increase the width of this vertical ruler simply go into this preamble and where you have put one point you can put 2.3 point 4 point, point and again go and compile and you can observe the change in the output so definitely in that case the thickness of this vertical ruler will be increased but it is a rare requirement that we will put a vertical ruler such a separation is generally done in the books but generally in journal papers this is not required so here in this case the process is compiling and it is going to produce the output so definitely the output will be the thick line thick vertical ruler if you can see here this ruler is thick as compared to the previous one now here i have removed the starred version that's why it has produced the balanced columns now if you want that some text should be expanded in a single column above this or below this so in that case what you can do here if you want some text which should be present in a single column or if you want to put some heading above this columns then what you have to do here that text should be included inside this square brackets i am using the text inside this multi call environment what i am doing here now i am putting the square bracket and inside that square bracket i will consider some text suppose i am considering this text i'll go back and i will put here so whatever i will put inside this square bracket 
inside the multicalls environment that text will be expanded in a single column and the text which is outside that square bracket that will get divided into two columns so let us go back and check what will be the output for such a case so the process has again excited so we can have the another discussion let us revise what commands were used we have used in the preamble backslash use package multi call then we have used the backslash set length in curly braces column save for column separation how much column separation you want then another we have set the column separation rule that is the vertical line and what should be the width of that vertical line that we have specified here now here in this case the process excited normally and if you can see here there are some text which are expanded in a single column which is expanded in a single column and some text which is then remaining text it is divided into two columns so in this way you can put now here i have put the extra brackets here so that is going to consider so i will remove this otherwise if you can see here the ultimate the ultrasonic sensor is used only some small portion of the text is considered here but we are having the long text so if you have any square brackets inside this text you have to remove it so again if i will go and compile this one now definitely the complete text which is written inside the square bracket will be expanded in a single column above this two column text so let us check for it so the process excited normally and if you see here the text which is inside the square bracket is expanded in a single column and the text which is outside the square bracket inside this multi call environment that is expanded or uh, that is uh, splitted into two columns so in this way you can divide your text or you can format your text in multiple columns okay? so hope you might have understood all the concepts that i have told to you so for the time being we'll stop here so bye bye